Well, it's interesting that you mention, uh, you use the phrase Brat Pack, because that's one of the most famous celebrity interview slash profiles of the 80s that you were sort of associated with even though you weren't there. And if my listeners don't understand, it was basically New York Magazine wanted to do an interview with Emilio Estevez, who was sort of being seen as the Orson Welles of his time. And <laughs> or so we would have you think. <laughs> well, he was uh, he was he was 23 years old and he was directing a movie, right? He was uh, he had written a couple movies. This and- was it was actually uh, I think he directed after this. I'm not sure. Right around that time, but that was an interview for Saint Elmo's Fire coming out, which is why he was with the New York Magazine reporter who and he had the idea to take him out drinking with him and <laughs> Judd Nelson and Rob Lowe and you know. Well, what do you expect? <laughs> well, as I understand it, um, and maybe this is just Emilio's vision, version of the story now, but he says that he was sort of, he didn't want to come off like a workaholic sequestered person. So he called his friends, apparently Judd and, and uh, Rob Lowe, and he sort of performed this version of what he was like socially for the St. Animals Fire movie that you were a part of. And then it just became its own thing. I mean, it's, I, I think everybody who was in that probably including you and you were mentioned briefly sort of hated it but now it's like it's like the short shorthand for people who were important and young during that era i mean what's what's your relationship with that whole thing well that's what it has been is a relationship to that term because when it did come out um yeah i was not involved i mean i'm talked i'm disparaged in that uh, by the boys in that thing uh in that article i i actually read the article when i was writing this memoir, which I had, I'd been afraid to look at the article in whatever, 30 odd years. And I, I hmm. looked it up and read it again. And it's shocking how it, it there were no reality to what it became. Um, because it, it became this term to, like you say, lump all these young, successful young actors who were in these certain movies, which I was in, uh, St. Elmo's Fire and Pretty in Pink, I think sealed my Brat Pack membership. But it was written as a very, you know, pejorative, disparaging term when it was came out. Because it was like, these kids are fucking jerks. It's entitled little brats. And hence the title. You know, I know some of us who weren't sort of a part of it and then got lumped into it felt like, what the fuck? I've just been blindsided. You know, so I hated it for years and felt it really limited me. But um, now it's sort of aged like a fine wine <laughs> or a wine anyway um, to like gallo um but it it aids into this sort of iconic term of we affectionately look back on our youth on you know and so people utter it in a different way than they did than they spit it back then i thought for years that it really limited me but in a very real way i think it sort of enhanced a profile of me that i wouldn't have had otherwise because in that group you know we were all greater than the sum of our parts in a certain way although it was all none of it was real in the sense that we never hung out together i never once went out socially with any of those people i don't i haven't met many of my brad pack brethren you know so but it existed in the minds of people 